Christians have sometimes been charged with homophobia. Now, the word homophobia, coined about 50 years ago, was intended to communicate the idea of an intense and irrational fear of homosexual people that produces prejudice against them and sometimes even acts of violence against them. And the question before us is not whether or not some people who profess to be Christians have indeed had irrational fears and prejudices or even committed acts of violence. The sad truth is that there are people who claim to be Christians but are actually hypocrites and consequently commit some of the most atrocious of crimes. We also have to acknowledge that those who are true Christians, that is, those whom God has given a new heart of faith and love, have sometimes done things because of their remaining sins that they have later come to recognize are wrong and they've needed to repent of those things. We acknowledge this and we do so with grief. But the question before us is whether or not biblical Christianity itself is homophobic. And this we deny. I remember one time when I was driving home and uh, I happened to go past one of my neighbor's properties and I saw that their detached garage was an inferno. It was completely engulfed in flames. And with a pounding heart, I, I pulled into their driveway and ran up to their house, which had its lights on, was beating on the door, calling out to them. Well, thankfully, nobody was home in an immediate danger. So I was able to call the fire department. They came and extinguished the fire. But I ask you, was my calling out to my neighbors, was that an act of hatred? Of course not. I did it because they were my friends. I loved them. I wanted them to escape the danger. And in the same way, when Christians call upon homosexuals to turn away from their sins and to trust in Jesus Christ, it's not an act of hatred or prejudice. It is an act of love. You see, the Bible teaches us that we are all one human family because we have one father, Adam. But the Bible also teaches us that Adam's sin plunged our entire race into sin so that our very hearts have become corrupt. Homosexuality is one among many different kinds of sins that we commit against God's law. And because of our proud and foolish behavior, we have set our house on fire with the judgment of God. But the good news is that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so the Bible's message to all people is that we have discovered that Jesus Christ is the door out of this burning house. He's the only door out and into eternal life. We are escaping and we want you to join us and escape as well. And that is not homophobia, it is hope.